But he that does truth come to the light. That his deeds may be made manifest. That they are wrought in God. But he that does truth come to the light. That his deeds may be made manifest. Yes. That they are wrong in God. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord, for your anointing, Lord, in advance. Yes. Father, we ask the Lord to yes. forgive us of all our sins and unrighteousness, Lord. Yes. That we be able, Lord, to preach your word, Lord. Yes. Lord, that we be able, Lord, to minister your word and teach your word. Lord, that we be able, Lord, to hear a word from you, Lord.
Because the angel was in his way. Wow. But God used him. Yeah. And after God used him, many years later, he, he was killed. Wow. But he used a soothsayer. I just want y'all to know and understand this morning. As you, you sit and you listen, I want you to understand that no matter where you are now, God has a place for you What you see in your flesh now are a manifestation of where your heart is. God is able to change your heart. Jeremiah and Jeremiah 17 and 9, he said, the heart is the speech oh, is equal above all things. And desperately the wicked. Who can know it? And that songwriter said, your heart ain't in it. I did another songwriter said, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to do right. Now y'all old people know what they're saying. Y'all know what it is. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. I can't tell you. Got it. 
gets in front of you. You think it's the devil. You think it's you think it's the man. You think you think somebody else. Uh, maybe my my mom and daddy wasn't born. I wasn't born with a silver spoon, and they didn't have money. So I, I, that's why I don't do right. That's a drunken spirit. There are those that sleepwalking right now. There are those that are blaming other folks, our forefathers, for, for, for the way we walk right now. Nobody is making you walk that way. All I want to do is give you an opportunity to dance with the devil. But what I can say to you is don't dance with him. Don't dance with him. But whoever the devil is, don't, don't walk with him. Don't talk with him. But what you got to do is, is, is remember what John 3 and 15 said. It says that whosoever believeth in him. It's talking about Jesus. It ain't talking about Pastor White. It ain't talking about Bishop such and such. It ain't talking about Mr. or Mrs. such and such. But he's talking about Jesus, that whosoever believing in him should not perish. He didn't say maybe. He didn't say possible not. He said should not perish. But you got to get your mind right. It's your choice yeah. to walk with God, to stay in church for 50 years and never know Jesus. Right. You're going to bust hell wide open. If you don't believe it, some people just don't believe in hell. Just go home and read Revelation 20. Right. Where it talks about the sea shall give up his dead, hell shall be given up the dead, and it shall be left over to hell, and the grave shall be thrown into the lake of fire. Yeah. Which is the second death. Right. Hell is real. Yeah. I don't know where it's at. Yeah. Some people say it's the grave. <laughs> Saying other folks say it's the, it's the separation of, of God's spirit upon your life. I don't know how it is, but I know that there is a second death yeah. that is coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The blind man told me he saw it. Oh, yeah. Got yeah. Right. John told me he saw it and he couldn't see. Right. But God gave it to him in a vision yeah. of what is to come. Yeah. Then he said in verse 16, everybody love the quote. How many, how many Christian folks I got in here? <laughs> Thank you. 
if you do not stay with God's plan, then you're going to find yourself with manifestations of devils in your life, manifestations of, of, of evil stuff that's in your life. Because what has happened is you have started believing a lie rather than the truth. Yeah. And a lie can't keep you for, for so long before it gets exposed. So he said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So God has done his part. Amen. He gave us. God created us and put us in the garden. Yeah. And we messed up. Right. Listening to uh -huh. the devil. A lot of people put it on the woman. Uh -huh. Some people might put it on the man. Well. But I put it on the devil where it belongs. Yeah. Yeah. God gave us everything that we could desire and need to sustain us in life. But we messed up in the God. Yeah. And along the way, we even messed up so much that he sent a flood. I know people don't believe in that. They, they, they believe that, that that didn't happen and all of this and that. But but he believed. I believe that it happened. Yeah. I believe the Bible is true and the way it says it's true. Yeah. You might have another type of interpretation, but I believe that God is looking down on me yeah. and he's seeing to my needs. I believe that he blessed me and pulled me up out of the mouth and mocked in the clay. Yeah. I believe that his spirit resides inside of me. I have the Holy Ghost. Whether you believe it or not, that's not my problem. I'm going to walk for Jesus. Because I know when I had messed up in life, don't nobody else coming to my rescue but Jesus. Jesus reached down and picked me up out of where I was at. It was my choice whether to reach up or not. But I chose to reach up and he pulled me out. I believe that God gave his son for me. Because I hear him talking to me. Oh, you schizophrenic, whatever you want to call it. Somebody talks to me. Somebody tell me when I done messed up. And everybody else gonna turn their back on me and tell me to get up and keep on moving like they never ever happened. Somebody told me that, that those sins are forgiven. I believe that. If I didn't believe it, I wouldn't be here today. Robbing banks and doing making big time money. I won't be trying to die with it, y'all. I believe in what I preach. I believe in what I sing about. I believe in what I teach about. Yeah. It's not a formality. It's not something to make money because it ain't a, ain't a whole lot of money in it. I believe that God said his word. Says it's lying. I believe it's lying. Because I was dead one time. I believe it. God brought me back to life. Yes, he did. I believe it. So he said it's he's he, he so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that who shall believe in him, y'all catch this. Shall not. Y'all get that? It ain't according to how you walking now. Yeah. It's according to what God and already dictated. Yeah. I believe. I work with devil. I mean some strong devil. <laughs> I used to be a devil too. That's how I know they devil. <laughs> yeah. One thing about it. I never lost faith in God. Yeah. I lost faith in church. In church folks, uh, but I never lost faith in God. Yeah. I didn't always do what He told me to do, uh, but I never lost faith in Him. Yeah. Because when my back was against the wall, as the songwriter said, yeah. and I thought everything was over, yeah. God made a way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right one day, God made a way yeah. when He was smoking that reaper or smoking that left hand cigarette. And drinking as much as he can drink. Yeah, I drink too. I like to drink. I like the feeling of being drunk. But God made a way out of nowhere. To let me know that that's not the way. Maybe that's the way for you. But I'm, I'm here to tell you. If you get with Jesus, you won't pay. Let me move on. Let me move on. Let me move on. Then he said, Y'all listen to this. For God sent his son into the world. Not, God sent not his son into the world to condemn 
underworld. Uh -huh. Y'all see that? Uh -huh. That's why people can't come into church because they feel confused. Uh -huh. You was out with them last night. Oh, now you're singing in the choir. They can't come in because you're singing in the choir. You was out with them last night. So you're making them be because they don't know what the word says. All right. Then he says here, but that the world through him might be saved. Now in this generation, I've heard a whole lot of stuff. They don't went back to old school history, talking about the Anunnaki and who Jesus was that Jesus actually is saved and, and they go on down the line they bring up all this ultimate knowledge about who Christ is and who, who God is and, and God wasn't really God of the universe and they bring up that he's alien and all of this and that and, 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 I, and I want to tell you what it all is it's rubbish Amen. it's something to distract you from knowing who God is Something to distract you. Why do you think it keep coming up? Uh, why do you why do you think they try to keep denouncing Christ? Uh, if, if it didn't matter, why I don't matter, so I don't feel like the world is talking about Reverend White uh, or Johnny the way he used to be. Uh, Only when Johnny come around and bring it up, then the world talk about Johnny and what I used to be. Half on the dead now. Uh, so they don't remember me. Why do you think they keep bringing up who Christ ain't to, respect, to detach you from who Christ is? Right. He's the Savior of the world. He's, he's sitting on the right hand of the Father. So when Johnny mess up, he's sitting over there putting on the Father. He belonged to me. I died. All right. you, you, you got to know who then he says, he that belongs, he that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is already condemned. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son. And this is the condemnation. That's why they distract you from following Christ. That's why they, they'll tell you you're living a devil life. I don't forgot the word. I ain't having this word down. They tell you, you know how you, you know how you be, sometimes people call you two-faced. Because right. you're free in this minute, but then when you give somebody else the yeah. end of it, yeah. and you begin to stare. I, 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 that word is coming to me now. Uh, uh, you know how it is when you live in one thing one day, and a different thing the next day? Yeah. Uh, the unbelievers gonna be thrown into the lake of 
be hypocritical of each other. Cast 
out the monastery, gave all 12 of his disciples power. Even the wrong one. The one that were real devils, you know, you, you got some slight devils, then you got some little devils, then you got some real devils. <laughs> Jesus gave him power. Yeah. You even had one that after he died, he came in the room. Just, just, they had the door closed. He appeared in the room and let him touch his hand. I believe the one that died. Y'all got it? Y'all got Jesus? Yeah, y'all got him. Thomas saw him walk on water. Thomas saw him raise the, raise the dead. Thomas saw him heal the sick. Thomas saw him take two fish and five body loaves of bread. Feed 5,000, 4,000 in another place. Thomas saw and he heard and he supped with him. But when it came down to him dying and coming back, that's the part that tripped many of you up. It's your choice if you don't want to believe it. But I believe that he got up. You don't want me not to believe that he didn't get up. I could be a trifling brother. Because I know, I know how to get in and out of stuff then. And grin like I ain't did now. You don't want me to not believe in God. That's why I'm telling you to believe in God. So that you don't be trifling. So that you can go back when he when cracked the sky. And I come back and the dead shall rise. And then those that are high shall be caught up. I said I don't finish them.
don't waste my time for those that don't want to give their life to Christ. But God can do it for you. It's your choice. Any time that you decide to give your life to Christ, it, it will be your time. All you got to do is call me. Be the name of the Lord. He's a good God, isn't he? God, Lord, we thank you right now, God, for everything that was said in this place. But God, we can say that we were in the presence of the Lord in the house of worship. We thank you for the family reunion. We thank you for all.